Hello and welcome to Shark Cut Up CNC. Today we're going to discuss how to bring in an SVG image into VCAR Pro. And we're going to import the uh, SVG file into Import Vectors. I want this truck SVG. And you notice it came in smaller than my uh, <clears throat> job setup. I like to take and expand that so you can really look at the SVG image. But being this thing's got uh, two frames, we're going to delete one of them. And we're going to take and highlight the whole thing and we're going to align it. Now you notice my align objects are on my drawing tab. It saves me from having to click on this box right here, or this icon here, on and off, in and out, you know, having to use all these tools. I check the check box here at the bottom. It puts all these on my drawing tab. All right, anyway, now our image can get lighter by switch clicking in different places. To avoid this fading of the image, you can go to what they call project, I mean, uh, yeah, object properties, object properties. So we'll click on the object and we'll right click. That was a left click and a right click. And then go to, in this menu, you look for object properties. Take the slider, slide it all the way to the left. You notice the image came up full. If I bring it the other way, it disappears. That can be a lot, can cause you a lot of headaches when it's at the 50% mark as it was when we first brought it up. When you're trying to trace the image, you click on the image and then somehow you end up clicking out here and it, it, it fades out. It makes it harder to see when you're trying to do tracing. So it's a great idea to reset the object properties so that it's full and it doesn't click in and out when you do a left click. Now. That also holds true when you're using the trace feature tool because it has what they call a bitmap fading. And you notice when we brought it up, it faded out. You can barely see the SVG file. So we bring this slider all the way back to the left. Now we can zoom in and we take this slider up here. We make sure this is on black and white, being such a black and white image. And we'll slide the slider all the way over to the right. And you notice all this garbage it brought in. That's what you don't want. You don't want all that crazy garbage. Even when you bring it back slightly, you can see little specks here and there. Those little specks will show and create vectors around those little specks. So let's uh, <clears throat> go in here and look at the, this here, where the two lines come together. Okay, now when you do it like that, when you're separating the lines, you're going to get a lot of vectors. In fact, we'll take a look at that real quick. We'll do a preview you'll get a lot of vectors that aren't closed. Um, well, they're closed, but there are gaps in them. This should be joined right here. And let's see if we could find another one. Well, that one's joined, and it really shouldn't be because it should be individual lines like that. So it will cause some crazy stuff. So what we'll do is we'll bring the slider all the way to about 70% and then we'll do apply rather than 
and you notice here we still got that which would have to be fixed so let's close that let's uh, go delete the vectors <clears throat> uh, we deleted the image too so we got to undo that uh, I don't want the bitmap involved in this so we'll and I only want the truck itself so let's do the truck delete those vectors now we'll bring back our bitmap graphic and we'll go back to the trace feature and we'll take our bitmap fading so we could see our image bring it back to the left again Uh, let's see, how about if we use, let's try 80% and do a preview on it. Aha, it closed up. In fact, it all looks pretty pretty good okay so now we'll do a apply to that we'll close this and we'll highlight the truck vectors and we'll do a vector validator in the vcarve mode because I, I'm going to use a <coughs> vbit but I'm going to use the profile toolpath but it's going to be very similar to a V carving because you're carving the vectors with a V bet. So I'm going to search the selected. It's telling me I got four overlaps, four intersections. And it'll show them out. Okay, these are the overlaps right here with these. See, it didn't create this vector or those little vectors right there. So those will have to be handmade in there. But so those vectors, what we'll do is we'll close this and see how they're overlapping. We'll just go ahead. Let's see. Okay, all the vectors, we'll just highlight them, delete them. And while we're here, I can go ahead and create my vector. Shift key. And what we'll do is we'll do that. And we'll do that again. There we go. Now we'll adjust that. By going to node edit mode and take these little boxes here, the handles. And we could adjust that one. And this one needs to be adjusted a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we'll go, go out of the node edit mode. And of course, you'll want to make those too. <clears throat> and now we'll do a vector validator on it. And it'll, before it was saying four, now it should reduce that because we fixed a couple. And we added one vector back in. Now it's saying there's zero. So evidently, those four were all in the same place. So now we have no problems with it. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do create our tool path. We want to be a 16th deep. We want to use a V-bit, and I'm using a 30 degree V-bit, and we want to be on the vectors. Okay, so that looks all good. We'll do a calculate, 
and preview it. And there you go. Now, it may be a little deep, but it's cutting. What it's having to do, it's not a single line vector. You've got, <clears throat> you've got two vectors for every line on this truck. So what the B bit is doing is it's going on the line or on the, yeah, on the vector and each vector on either side of the line. So that can create problems too. But this doesn't look too bad. So overall, that, this is what you want to do to <coughs> import your SVG image into VCAR and how to go about fixing a particular vector. And now while I was talking, I noticed there's a little vector right there. Yep, that's a vector. So, in fact, it should be highlighted in pink. Ha ha ha, there we go, look at that. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of that vector. Of course, the vectors may all be grouped. Nope, they're not. Okay, so we highlighted it, delete it, and then we go back here and do a calculate on the tool path. And now it's not even now it's not even included anymore. See, there's no vector around that little dot. So you see, there are pr problems that can be uh, rectified, or problems that can come into view when you don't. <clears throat> you actually sometimes have to zoom in to be able to see things like that little vector right there or that that's part of the image in fact i can bring that out to the 2d view and you can see that little dot now see that now i don't even see it at all on that view but if i zoom in you start to see it come up so you can have stray vectors too so that can create problems within your project. So there you have it, importing an SVG image and creating vectors for that SVG image and also using the vector validator to check to make sure that all the vectors are joined or don't have any overlaps, and you name it. Thank you for watching Shark Cut Up CNC. Thank you.